classroom every single time. And when you feel like you're not feeling safe or you're feeling you're struggling with something, you just can pause it. Or later on, not right now, but when you feel more comfortable in the simulation, if you have a coach with you, at the moment you're observers, right? I'm going to go and take the simulation. Later on, we add another component, which, which is a coach. And a coach may pause and go, let's just talk about that, what you just did. How could we improve that question? Or how could we change what we do to get it better, to make it better for the student, a better learning opportunity? So we might coach in action while it's going. That's the beauty of the simulator. So I want you to, um, I know some of you have read and, and had a look at the students that we have. There's only five students. Those five students are typical of some of certain types of students you may or you may not have met in your classroom. It doesn't matter what culture they are, they're a type of learner and they're a personality type. So culture, while it has a big impact, there will be variations of the same kind of behaviours that you will see given your different cultural backgrounds. But you're in schools that I know have a variety of cultures anyway. And these students are probably typical of students that you might meet at Bradenton Prep, they're American students, they're here on an exchange, so they're going to meet foreign teachers for the first time. So they have some learning to do too, and things will be foreign to them. So the point of this first, um, first orientation is to be really an introduction for me, and for me as the teacher, and when I say me, I don't mean me, I mean us as teachers, to find out as much as we can about what kind of learner they are and what kinds of things they like and make some kind of connection there with those students uh, that's significant and going to contribute to their learning. Um, so we'll be, we're hoping to be able to get, I'm hoping that I can elicit some good questioning so that they'll give me more information, good quality information, or that triggers other other questions from the rest of the students because they're here together in a fairly strange environment too. Um, one of the great things about a virtual simulator is that I'll come in and when I'm done and I pause and somebody else decides to take over, avatars don't remember. So you can practice with some of the same questions to start with, but our goal here is that we get as much information out of the students as possible. So if you already know something about the students, a particular thing, why would you ask it again? You want to try and extend that learning. Which is a shame for the person who's 20th, who has to come in and we found out everything about their students. So we might need to look at some other ways. So I want you to be really thinking, and this is where you're going to reflect in action, this is where reflecting is going to happen while we're doing it, or while I'm doing it, and then when you're here in this position, while you're doing it too. So at, um, this little tool that I'm going to give you is just a, I want you to annotate while I'm working, um, and if you, you may have two, two or three of us, because some of you I would like to get into the simulator today and have a try yourselves, if you're brave enough. I was going to say if you're brave enough. Um, and, uh, and I want you to just look at that little tool that you've got in front of you, that little document. You're going, it's an observation tool, so you're going to observe me in the, uh, you're going to observe me in the simulation, and we're going to see how well I do, or not, as the case may be, because I'm trying this too, for the first time. Uh, the types of questions that we can develop. So hopefully, today, you can identify which of those different types of questions are 